In order to access some of the audio and video files in your online course, you may need to download and install the QuickTime plugin. To do this, go to www.quicktime.com. Once the page is loaded, you'll see a link for a free download for QuickTime 7. Click on that link, and once the page loads, you'll see that you can download the free player. The only thing you need to have checked is the top box here that says QuickTime 7.6.6 for Windows XP, Windows Vista, or Windows 7. You can uncheck the sign up box if you would like so that they will not be receiving any emails from Apple regarding updates and click on free download now. Next, Internet Explorer is going to come up and ask you do you want to run or save the file? Click on run. Now, the download of the file may take a minute as it is a rather large file, so depending on the speed of your internet connection, you may have to wait for a few minutes for the file to download. So once the file is completely downloaded, Internet Explorer will display the security warning and ask if you want to run or not run the software. Select Run. Then you'll see the Windows installer start to come up and you'll be walked through the installation process. So it says welcome to the QuickTime installer. Just click Next. Click Yes to agree with the license agreement. And if you would like desktop shortcuts installed, leave the checkbox checked. Then click the Install button and wait as it will install the software to your computer. Once everything's done, if you click on Configure File and MIME Types, you'll see that this is what QuickTime is going to be playing. The thing you want to look at is make sure that Wave Audio is checked right here so that the audio files inside of your course will be played using QuickTime. Click OK and click Finish and you're done.